The corridors of Yanmur Secondary School was filled with learners and parents who went there to collect their children's academic reports. Not everyone left with a smiling face though, especially those who failed to pay the school's stipulated voluntary contribution, which now appears to have become compulsory at the high school. The school's voluntary contribution is $1,500 per annum. There are also items such as smart boards, for which parents must fork out $500, even though many do not know what exactly it is. Parents who declined to speak to our news team for fear of victimization expressed their dismay over the compulsory voluntary contribution, with some parents and guardians argued they did not know even existed until now. Those who could pay at least half of the $1,500 were granted their children's report cards, while those who were unable to, like Beata Thomas, had to retain home empty-handed. Why should I be forced to pay it if I can? In my, I felt really bad today because I, I asked for my report and then I got comments such as you should be ashamed of yourself for not being able to pay school fees as if I work, as if I have a job, and that made me feel really bad. It's not true. The school's acting principal refused to comment before showing our news team the door. At many occasions, following introduction of free secondary education last year, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture has directed that no parent is obliged to pay their children's school development fund fees. Parents were encouraged, however, to make voluntary contributions to schools. Parents do not, are not uh, obliged to pay. There is no more compulsory payment towards the the school development fund. Mm. However, there's still an obligation on, on parents to see how best they can contribute voluntarily, of course, mm. towards the upkeep of a school. Guardians of learners at the school were also given voluntary contribution forms for 2018 in which they will commit to contribute the annual $1,500.